You're in balloon decor. I know recently you've been hearing a lot about PDF catalogs and Canva catalogs and, you know, a lot of promotions around trying to get you to use these kinds of PDF tools on your website or with clients and that sort of thing. I want you to know that there are some huge drawbacks to putting your catalog inside of a big PDF and then throwing it up on your website. So we're going to take a few minutes. And I'm going to talk about these. I'm going to give you some reasons that you need to think twice about using a PDF catalog on your website. And I'm going to give you some great ideas on how to use these PDF catalogs. But ultimately, what I need you to know, if you're not going to wait to the end and hear the gem at the end here, I need you to know that I do not want you to go throw your catalog up on your website. It, it's more complicated than that because your website visitor doesn't want your catalog. They want an answer to what they are thinking about, not what you are thinking about. So let's dig into some of the ways the, the, some of the things that I want you to avoid when it comes to your catalogs. So PDF catalogs are cool because you can spend lots of time on them. You can get them looking, you know, with the exact look and branding and professionalism that you want for the kind of products and services you're showing in that catalog. It, it feels really good to create these catalogs, but there's a big problem with them. The number one problem that I want you to understand is that when you put a PDF on your website, particularly if you, you're using the the two side-by-side -side page view that has a really attractive flip animation, right? That's going to make you feel really good. That probably looks horrible on mobile. And you're probably on your desktop computer when you're working with this PDF, right? Because you were just on Canva or on some other tool building this PDF out. Please, 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 if you're going to embed a PDF on your website, you need, you absolutely must look at it on mobile. This is so important because for your mobile visitors, I would say 80% of the time, it's going to be a bad experience. And so not only uh, might you have some trouble with the layout of the actual frame that that PDF is in, but it may be that, that the, the mobile visitor can't even see both pages when they look at it. They can't even flip the pages when they look at it. So that's the number one thing I want you to understand. You've got to go in there and get it right for mobile. And that's one of the biggest reasons I, I tell clients not to put their PDF catalog on their website. Uh, another thing I want to point out, if you put it, if you put your PDF catalog on your website, and you don't use that cool flip view, but you, you've got this long document, it might be pages and pages in the PDF for your catalog. If I'm a visitor to your website and you've embedded that on your website, I have to scroll and scroll and scroll to see all of this information. It would be much better to get your visitor straight to the page they want to get to. Go put it in the main menu and let them navigate there. Don't make them go through this PDF that you have created. That's not like there's there's way too much information in there for the typical visitor to your website. They just want one thing. They want to get to the event they're thinking about or the decor they're thinking about. So get out of their way and let them get there. Now, let's talk about uh, SEO for a minute. SEO on your PDF catalogs is bad, right? Uh, Google, can, depending on how the PDF is actually created or the, the catalog files actually created, Google might be able to see inside of it, but most of the time it cannot. And so all of that time you spend laying out the, the decor graphics or photos and the words to describe them and the pricing in there, Google can't actually see that. So it's not going to be bringing people to the page where you have that catalog because it doesn't understand what's inside the catalog. In some cases, Google will present PDF search results if you've saved that catalog as a PDF. But when a PDF is loaded uh, in a browser because somebody was searching, they don't have any, you know, they don't have the header on your website. They don't have the footer on the website. They can't get to a, a, an order page easily. So it's not as good of an, of an experience as if they're on your website. So those are some reasons that I want you to tap the brakes hard on putting that catalog on your website. I know Canva's making it easy. I know there's people talking about it, how in balloon decor, you need to build these things and put them up there, but it's not, it's not as cool as it sounds, right? So let me talk about some things that I want you to do. And th these are really the gems with your catalog. Number one, you can put it in your email footer, put a little link there, get our catalog. Let it download that PDF straight from your website, not a web page, but upload that to your website, put the link right there in the footer of your email. And then if you're, you know, if it's a business client that's reading your email or somebody actually wants the, the physical copy of it, they have a way to get it from you and it's gonna be sitting right there and they can see it anytime. It, that's another great way to position it when it's on your website. If you have a, a particular type of customer who's very focused on catalogs and on printed hard copies, 
that's that kind of customer, a page on your website specifically for that kind of customer, that's a great place to put a download our catalog button right there. Uh, another great way to use it is if you're ever meeting with a client one on one, you know exactly which page to go to to go show them options. That's a great way to pop that up and open on your tablet, on your phone, on your mobile, on their computer and take them straight to what they want to see right there. And you can talk about pricing right there. So there's some great ways to use your PDF catalog and your catalog coming from Canva. But I want you to understand throwing it up on your website and letting people browse your catalog there. That's a complete waste of your time. Please don't do it. If you if you hate this advice, if you love this advice, please drop some comments in here. Um, this advice is based on what we see working for over 100 balloon decor clients. I'm Jeff from balloonsuite.com. I'd love to help you out more. If you have other questions, drop those in the comments as well, and we'll create videos to answer them as we go along. I hope you're having a great day, and I hope you're delivering balloons.